right, y'all. What up, what up, what up? It's your boy RDS. We're gonna jump into some old school rap. Chicago. That real shit. That real hardcore shit. You know, your boy Lil Jojo, rest in peace. He passed away in 2012, September 4th. Damn it, it made 12 years. This year, it made 12 years. Last month, actually. Damn, man, that shit, time flies, man. You know, JoJo from the south side of Chicago. You know, all this shit that's happening now with all these, you know, up-and-coming rappers and shit from Chi-Town, it all started, actually, man, you know, this drill shit, Lil' JoJo, Chief Keef. You know, JoJo, he'll be, what, 25 now if he was still alive? I just wish he took another direction, man, because dude... Dude has some, you know, he has some skills. He has some skills. He had a lot of potential, a lot of potential. But like a lot of, you know, street niggas, he didn't know how to walk away. You know, that not being afraid shit, man, it ain't about that. It's just about walking away and being smart. A lot of motherfuckers just can't do it. A lot of people really don't, wouldn't understand that. If you never grew up like that, if you never grew up in the streets, you don't understand the street life, the street code. I know it's stupid as fuck. To me, it is too. But when you're young, man, you don't think about stuff like that. Regardless of who's in your ear, you just don't. You know, you're around your guys, you know, you're on the streets. That's all it is. That's all it is. Sometimes it's hard to break away. You know, it's a proven fact with a lot of these, you know, rappers that passed away from, you know, getting shot. Of course, you know, little JoJo, you know, he was shot, which is sad. I know, I think, I think he was on a bike. I'm not, I think he was. He was on like the uh, the handlebars. He was riding the handlebars of one of his guys' bikes and one of the cars pulled up. I don't know. I got to uh, check it out again. It's been a minute since I uh, even listened to JoJo. But, you know, a lot of people really not reacting to him no more. So I think, you know, a lot of people starting to forget about him. So I'm finna bump one of his classics, one of my favorites. It's not even that long. It's called I Got the Sack. It's a Chief Keef and Lil Reese diss. And the crazy part, I like Chief Keef and Lil, you know, Lil Reese. I like they uh, raps. I don't really like what they represent. I, you know, I like the fact that they both are good dads. They they both are really, really good dads. And that's a good thing. But well, we finna check this out, y'all. It's called I Got the Sack. I heard this before a long time ago. It's been a minute. I'm pretty sure I still know the words. Can't forget the words are something you really like. Hold on, I'm trying to find my headphones here. And I apologize for the audio if it's not the best. But we finna jump into this, y'all. It's Lil Rick, I mean, Lil Jojo, I finna say Lil, Lil Reese. Because I listen to a lot of Lil Reese. I do. I got the sack. I hope I'm able to even post this up. But let's go ahead and do this, y'all. It's only a minute and 34 seconds. Y'all can't say that that beat is still sick to this day. Anyone bumping this today, hit me up in the comments and let me know. If y'all still listen to Lil, Lil Reese, you know, Chief Keef, any one of them old cats from Chicago. I mean, they still here. They still making uh, raps and shit, but especially Lil Jojo. Y'all still bumping Lil Jojo? Hit me up in the comments and let me know.
right before I end this, I want y'all to know I don't condone violence. So I'm just letting y'all know I don't condone that at all. But you know, this is just one of my favorite raps from back in the day from Lil Jojo. Even though, you know, he rapped about a lot of gang shit, but you still got to, you know, pay your respects to the man. You know, he was out there grinding. He was out there trying to make a life for himself and his family. You know, all his guys. You know, sometimes, you know, it just go that other route. You know, that, that unfortunate route to where, you know, your life ends. And I hate that that shit happened because telling you, when I, because I was listening to JoJo even back then. I didn't know a lot about him and Chief Keef and all of them, but I was still bumping Lil JoJo. And actually, 2012 is when I first moved out. September 2012 was when I first moved out here to Minnesota. And I was going through some shit out there in Chicago. That's the reason I had to relocate out here, because there was too much shit going on out there. So I relocated to Minnesota. I mean, I wasn't out, I wasn't out there like Lil JoJo. But, you know, I was just, you know, it was just getting too bad. You know, I grew up knowing too many people and had too many friends, too many influences, regardless of your age. If you're around these people every day, you're bound to end up doing some dumb shit. I don't care who you are, how smart you are. It just happens. You know, a lot of people be like, well, just, just get out. It's hard to just get out and walk away when you constantly surrounded around people like that. Every day you hearing it and you seeing it. It's hard. And sometimes you can't even get out. They won't allow you to get out. That's just how it is. That's just how that, you know, that street life is. But like I said, that's not the right way to go. And a lot of people that turn their lives around, that's the best thing that you ever can do. But, you know, Lil Jojo going to be forever missed. You know, the man, just imagine if he was still alive today. I don't know how the, you know, the rap scene would have been with Jojo, you know, Chief Keef and... Lil Durk and all them motherfuckers from Chicago, but it's, it's a couple more motherfuckers that came out of Chicago, too. But I don't know how to be right now, but I'm pretty sure knowing Lil JoJo, he'll still be deep in the streets, man. He's one of those cats that just can't break away. He was real, he was real deep with it. He was real hood, and he, you know, all that BDK stuff. You know, uh, by the way, that's Black Disciple Killer. You know, there's a lot of Black Disciples out, Black Disciples out there in Chicago on the South Side. You don't catch them on the West Side. If you do, it ain't too many of them. But that's mostly South Side. And man, I don't know how it is today. I mean, I haven't lived in Chicago in, like I say, 12, 13 years now. So I don't know how much has changed. I don't even ask. I don't even talk to my friends from out there anymore. Friends that I've been knowing since. You know, uh, hang go see, catch one, catch all, jump rope days. You know, uh, rock man. You know, hopscotch, those days. I still got friends from back in them days that's out there right now. Still doing the same shit. Still hanging on the corners. Sagging their pants. Like, dude, you, you you too old for that shit. You know, so I had to break free. That's why I don't really talk to a lot of them no more. But this is one of my favorite raps from back in the day. From a couple of, you know, not too far back in the day. But, you know, Lil Jojo... He cemented himself, like, as far as, like, the great Chicago rappers. He He's up there now. Even though he didn't make a lot for a little short time that he had. Because, remember, JoJo really never fully made it. Like, Chief Keef and Lil Durk and all them cats. He really never fully made it. He was, you know, on his way. He was one of the top Chicago dudes. But he never really fully made it. A lot of people don't even know who JoJo is. You have to be from Chicago or know people from Chicago, affiliated with people from Chicago, have mutual friends, you know, whatever the case may be, to even know who JoJo is. It's just how it is. But well, rest in peace, little JoJo. You know, uh, thank you for your music. You know, you forever going to live through a lot of people who knew about you and knew about your music. And, you know, we're going to keep riding. We're going to keep riding with your music. As always, until next time, y'all already know, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. And make sure, don't don't hit the, uh, I don't care about the notification. I get annoyed by that shit myself, so y'all don't got to hit that. As long as you hit the subscribe button, I'm cool. Just click on my channel if you want to listen to my content. If you want to see and listen to my content, just click on. Help your boy out. Trying to get to 10K. We almost there. Let's go.